Hello everyone, how's it going? Sorry for the wait, Christina's internet dropped out there for a minute and it's probably still out, so we'll see when she comes back. Uh, but I'll show you what we're gonna do. She's gonna join me when she can. We're gonna uh, just run through this painting and enjoy, uh, enjoy it while we can. So feel free to chat. We're both here looking at the chat. Well, at least I'm here looking at the chat for now. Um, but yeah, how you guys been? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna start with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just wet the paper. So it looks like we got a few people. I see, uh, um, oh, Christina's back. Let me get her on. Hey, Christina. Hello. I, I started. Yeah. I wasn't I, sure how long you were going to be, so I, I went ahead and started. But hey, how are you doing? I'm good. I pulled a goof and completely exited Chrome. <laughs> that, uh, that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will share my screen again. Nice. So let's see. I was just looking through the people that we've got here at the moment. We've got Astro Robin, Danae, Magical Winnie, Nabs. I think we had a couple more at the top. NK, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna add that in. There we go. That was the uh, image that we're gonna do for a brief second there. Anyway, did it go away? Uh, I think yeah, I think it did. the The screen is still sharing, but it's like it's not sharing the particular window. There, maybe it is. There it is. I know I've got a, a really complicated. <laughs> Like my streaming software is capturing my screen, but then I'm yeah. the, the application window so that my face can also be there. Ugh. It never ceases to complicate, does it? No. No. So what have you been up to? Oh, um, just like doing portfolio work, I guess. Nice. When I, when I feel the creative energy these days. How often? How often is that? Uh, this last one I did um, came pretty, like it came out really easily, so I was able to work on it like every day. But nice. I love it when that happens. That's not always the case. No. I've also been renovating my kitchen. Yeah. Uh, doing a lot of carpentry. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at carpentry. We just, we have like all the tools. Uh, and I really wanted to learn how to do everything. So I have been. It's nice. So is that taking up most of your time? A, a good chunk of it, not as much as it should. It's like uh, a disaster area in there. <laughs> it should be taking up way more of my time. Oh man, what a day. What did you get up to earlier? Um. Mostly I did some communication and um, preparing for my anime backgrounds thing. Yes, that's yeah, going to be fun. It is going to be fun. I'm excited about it. So do you do a painting each week of a Ghibli background? And then, or an anime background, and then also the Lord of the Rings one. Uh, so it's so it's every month. So it, it's a little less intense than that. Did I say every week? Yeah. Oh. So yeah. Every, every <laughs> that's month. That's like a full time job. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that'd be that'd be a bit crazy. I mean, that's kind of what I was doing when I was uh, running the courses. Yeah, you're so week. enterprising. 
And that was a lot. Oh, I, if that was me, I would try to like be there for everyone. But every other day I would be like, I don't feel um, happy enough to talk to you people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's that's a legitimate struggle. There's definitely a mental health component where it's like, uh, I really, yeah, really, like exactly what you said. I really want to be there for everyone. And today I'm falling to pieces, so. <laughs> yeah. That's like, yeah, you want me to know like what I've been doing with my time. It's just uh, all the time I'm not spent painting or trying to work on the kitchen is on my couch. Rewatching a show I've rewatched a million times. Yes, me crumbling to pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Chris says, do we know if the workshop's going to focus more on composition kind of stuff or more on technique? I'm using watercolor. I'm more worried that the the techniques won't translate. Um, it it's going to be honestly, you can get most of the material and sort of translate it to your own. To your own stuff, I think watercolor is going to always going to be the hardest because it's um, you're dealing with it transparently all the time, and so there's going to be a lot of stuff that's a little bit hard to translate. But uh, at the same time, a lot of it is about those ideas behind you know how you get a picture to work, which is just you know applicable no matter what. Oh, Astro Robin says, having to be an entertainer every day is draining. Do you have to do that, Astro Robin? Maybe she means me because I am an international art superstar. You are an international superstar. <laughs> so there's definitely that aspect to it. <laughs> we my do. Whole, my, my whole paper is like, it, it buckled on a little bit of a tilt. And so now like everything's like draining downwards. I kind of enjoy it. Oh no. I'm like trying to watch the video like on my iPad and it's just giving me only grief. It's giving you all the grief? Yeah. How so? Well, okay, I got it to work. Aha. Just a little like inception for everyone. Just a video inside of a video. If it would if it would load. So I can see the comments and stuff. Nice. Just a little like inception. Oh no. I don't want this happen. <laughs> well now we're listening. I also to don't it. want it. I also don't want to hear my own voice. Uh, another question. Hey, Justin, do you already know how long the anime painting background course will run? Well, I'm kind of doing it a bit differently, like not really as a course, just as like a, you can be there for as much of it as you want to be there for um, on a monthly basis. And I'm planning on basically doing it for, for a year or at least until, until next year. It's kind of like my, my big project for the year. Oh yeah, I got some fun clouds up here too. Justin, I feel like your accent has diminished since I last saw you. Oh no, even just in that little bit of time? Yeah. Ah, uh, you, you're, you're probably right. It's that damn south. That, that, that darn south. <laughs> you, you, you daren't say damn here. You'll, uh, you'll get your head chopped off. Oh no. I also uh, don't have any kids unlike you, so I have no filter for cursing. <laughs> I kind of got to like wait for this paint to dry a little bit before I do anything more seriously up there. Well, you've got a head start, so that's fine. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I cheated. Cheated, cheated, cheated. It's my own fault. I was like, no, I don't think I need a browser open while I do this. My computer was like, the fan was going on like full tilt. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. close it. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be good. So 
So you've been working on um, on your portfolio. What kind of what kind of pieces are going into it? Is there any, what? How intentional are you about the kind of work you're doing? Or are you just kind of exploring it still? Um, for my portfolio stuff that I do, yeah, it's very intentional. So it's like art, like tabletop role playing, card art. Yeah. Um, stuff. New Year's stuff's been getting amazing lately. Like, I don't know what you've been doing, but. Just like one after the other. It's a <laughs> yeah. tiresome existence. That, yeah, exactly. It's the only way it goes. But I'm lucky because I can, I have the time and the, the resources to just plug away at it. Isn't that amazing? Very privileged is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm really privileged too. I had a, a a lot of time where my wife was able to 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 earn most of the bacon. money. Yeah, and now she doesn't have to, so that's nice. But uh, definitely took definitely took that. Uh oh, I started this whole thing too low. Oh well. Astro Robin says, "What was that? Uh, some cloth rag technique that just flew by." I was getting rid of some of the water, which I feel like I still need to do. I did not wait long enough. So I'm going to do it again. Just like, <laughs> do you have a hairdryer? Oh, that would be a good idea. I don't. I don't. I really should. But it's, <laughs> I, uh, I like painting with acrylics because they dry really fast. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see my disgusting like paint area there <laughs> that's just not full of like old magazines that i use as a palette because i don't like palettes you don't like palettes why is that i don't like them i don't like my colors neatly separated i like just being super messy and like kind of i guess with like with digital art like eye dropping everything and i like to just you know like go like and pick up all the colors on my paintbrush. I'm very messy, like <laughs> so messy. Part of the process though, right? I love it. It's like layer upon layer upon layer. Every layer is slightly less messy than the one before it. That's kind of like, uh, kind of like me pre pre teaching. But then I had to start learning how to communicate it about it all. I'm like, I suppose like it has to make sense somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only one holding me accountable is me. Yeah, exactly. I am way too lazy to do that. <laughs> Here we go. What kind of painting are you using today? Today I'm using um, poster colors. Just full on straight out poster colors. And I have to remember that we're on a clock. So I'm, otherwise I just like, Go super slow. Do you have a time limit? What is uh, it? I, I do kind of have a time limit. Um, I think we have about 45 minutes left. All right. Which is fine. What can we do in 45 minutes? Crazy. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the things we can do in 45 minutes. You're you're right, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Now being on the clock is so good. I love it. Like I feel like sometimes if I'm working on the clock, I get done so much more than if I, or, or about the same amount as, as if I spend twice as long not working on the clock. Yeah, I understand and then, that. And then I feel ridiculous. I like how it's uh, an excuse to not make it perfect. Yes. Perfection is very overrated. Perfection is the enemy. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many green tones. Every single one is here. <laughs> Everything is yeah, so much green, so much blue. Everything in between. Yep. There's really like not a lot of warmth except for like the yellowy green bits. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like all of these, all of the, even the greens are really cool until mm -hmm. you get, until you get like right to the front. 
Yeah, there's like these little bits by the road. Yeah. Yeah, like and nothing's stopping me from just throwing in some red flowers. Yeah. Let's see. I'm not sure I'm gonna make the road. Maybe I need to push up the, the stuff even even further. I'll just paint over your tape. Yeah. You just take the tape off. Yeah. Yeah, you or just like get get some gesso and lacquer that baby up so you can paint on it. <laughs> I am a big fan of gesso. I do love some good gesso. All right, let's get some some nice stuff for down here. So what you you said you've been uh, when you're not working you're sitting on the couch trying to recover watching shows. What kind of shows have you been watching? Oh man, uh, yeah, this, is, this is important. This is very important. Right now, I am rewatching the Mindy Project. What is that? It's like uh, Mindy Kaling, who was on like The Office and. I don't think I know, I don't know what that movie is. Late night. Hold on, I can probably find a. I gotta remember which screen is the one that I can do things on. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. You don't need a you don't need a browser to do any of this, so you can just shut it all off if you want. No, I do good. need a browser. You do. Oh. And that's why we got into trouble earlier. <laughs> Because the uh, stream labs or whatever it is is open. Yeah. This is Mindy. Let's let's again, have a look. Come on, have a look. Oh, oh, here we go. That's Mindy. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep. 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 Anyways, it's a very silly show. <laughs> we're gonna we just we're gonna... um. Oh, you what, sorry? Oh, um, we just did a watch of uh, Breaking Bad, which I had mm -hmm. seen, but I, my I partner Adam had not. I still haven't seen that one. It's a, I I got a, you gotta... Yeah, I think I got a couple of episodes in and didn't quite get interested, but I've heard so many good things about it. I presume I just needed to wait it out a bit. It might just be that you're not into it because I honestly am still not that into it. Okay. It's like uh, the creator, um, Vince Gilligan, he's like, you can tell what he's doing, like in a very gritty, uh, like making very anti-hero, like all the coloring is, very yellow and green tinted. Right. And I don't know about you, but I feel like the aesthetics and the color kind of palette of a movie or TV show really colors whether, whether I like it or not. Yeah. Well, I, uh, what, kind of, what kind of aesthetics do you normally go for? I don't know. I just don't like the yellow and green at least. <laughs> yep. Like it kind but it's to the to the extent that it kind of drowns out all the other colors. Right. I don't know. It's like Tim Burton movies always having like a pallor. Yeah. Like how crazy green I mean, the matrix is. Mhm. Mm but it is a compelling show. It's just I think it's very uh I don't know. It's not my thing. What about you? What are you watching? Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> I was I was rewatching through Stargate. <laughs> oh, sweet! I watched. I rewatched uh, Farscape. Oh, did you? A while ago. Yeah. I grew up on Farscape. I loved it so much. And now it's it kind of. A, uh... 
Was it? It was. It was a uh, an Australian. Yeah, it was Australian. Canadian kind of tag team show, I think. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen it, though. Oh, it, it holds up, man. It's good. <laughs> I remember it was really interesting, actually, when I when was like when I first started watching it. It was like advertised like a kid show. And yeah, because of like the the Muppet aspect. And somewhere in season two, it like really goes. <laughs> it it changes. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, wow, how did that happen? I love it though. Yeah, I love Aaron's son. Yes. Aaron's son. Aaron's I don't know, son. She has, she has her way of pronouncing her own name. Oh man, I remember how hard it was doing this one hour study the last time I did this two years ago. Yeah, I totally have not got the. I didn't get the composition right, so I'm, I'm curious as to how I'm going to fix this. There we go. I'm just going to put the road in and see. Uh, just make it your own. Yeah. Throw Godzilla in there. This is a disaster movie now. <laughs> Certainly feels like a disaster painting right now. Okay, I could get that much lighter. So I th I think I remember where you're from. You're from Brisbane. Yeah, good work. Yeah. And you're from. How, uh, have... I'm from where? Canada. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so specific. I'm very specific. Very specifically. But I, I just don't know anywhere in Canada. I mean, not that you should know anywhere in Australia, really, but. Oh, but uh, I do. Well, you do. <laughs> Putting me to shame. I am, uh, Adam and I are both very much uh, geography nerds. Nice. Why is that? What, uh, what brought you into geography? I don't know. We just like it. Then it's not something that developed after we got together. It was something we both had and we realized that we both were super into knowing where things are and knowing like what all the countries look like and all that, all that jazz. Does it come into play with your, with your art? Do you get like super specific into, I don't know, locational variances or um, yeah, sometimes it's like, especially when I'm looking for reference photos. Yeah. And I've been doing a lot of paintings recently that are like far north tundra set. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have, haven't you? Um, and I, yeah, like I very specifically look for different, um, towns and like regions to get those. Any any particular ones got your interest lately? Uh, I love Mongolia. Cause it's just a lot of uh, plains. Yeah, I just uh, picture like plains and shrubs and some mountains. But it's like, yeah, it's like way more beautiful than <laughs> It has any right to be. Right. And there's some really beautiful places up in, in China too that I always get, I always like get blindsided when I see them. I'm like, that's amazing. China is so big. Yeah. <laughs> like people think uh, like the United States has such a diverse like biospheres and everything and geography. China is a lot bigger than the United States, and it's got all that too. It's crazy. I really want to go to all these places one day, but I, 
I don't know when. I suppose if I'm not like really intentional about it, it just won't happen. Going to Asia is like fun to think about, but I don't think I could do like the flight. It would have to be like, okay, well, we stop over in Hawaii. Uh -huh. And then, <laughs> I mean, you fly back and forth from Australia. So I guess that's, you're used to that. I mean, it doesn't mean it's fun. It's kind of no. terrible. <laughs> when was the last time you went there? Uh, last year. And by the last time I went there, I mean, that, that was the last time that I had gone there. Um, oh, the first time I had been since I went to the States. So, like, it had been eight years since I'd been there. I was going to guess eight. It's like Jeopardy when you don't say it out loud. And you're like, oh, I was thinking it. <laughs> Well, I think I think I I'd probably told you that last time. Yeah, you probably did. Probably your subconscious coming in and ruling the day. Mm hmm I can't believe it's been like a year and a half, I guess, since the LuxCon. Yeah, that's which is crazy. like one of the last one of the last cons that actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Do you have any plans? Wait, man, I don't. I have no idea when those things are coming back. I I don't know either. And that was the first one I'd like really ever been to. And I was like, and now I really want to go to another one because I have so many more like online art friends that I just will will never get to see. <laughs> one day. Yeah, I have no idea. So you been particularly interested in anyone's uh, in anyone's art lately? As in like peers? Oh, or just art that's been inspiring you? Hmm. Actually, there's this one painter. Oh, uh, his name is. I'll find it. I have it saved on my Pinterest. Yeah. In my art reference folder. <laughs> He's like dead now, but. Oh, sad. It wasn't recent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Hans Emmenegger. Who is that? I don't think I've heard of him. Some painter. <laughs> He's but an artist. He's got these. He's he paints a bunch of stuff, but he's got these paintings of the woods and light cutting in really specifically on the like the trees. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And they're very simple. Like the color is not there's not a lot of detail. It's just like the it's like really graphic tone. The tone and the value. Yeah. Very nice. And I always love, I mean, I love painting nature and stuff. So there's a. Uh... Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I do that occasionally. I love coniferous trees and I like snow. I love it. Me too. I will never paint a deciduous tree if I have to. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's some, that's some devotion there. Unless it's like a birch tree. They're cool looking, but only the trunks. Yeah. I think I don't like painting leaves. <laughs> so right. this is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> you got leaves everywhere.
Do you have a favorite uh, anime background? A single favorite anime background? Mm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a, like a one movie that you like visually more than the others? Ah, you're making me choose between all my children. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think I do. I'm terrible at choosing favorites, actually. Well, I'm very bad at like coming up with examples. Right. Like, I know there are some, but I can't remember what they are. <laughs> and then I just, and then I completely failed to make the point I was trying to make. I really like Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah. And it came out at like the perfect time to really like get into. How's that? Because it was like two, 2004 or something. I don't know. You're just like in, impressionable. I was in high school. Yeah. And it was, I mean, it came out after Spirited Away, but that was, I was like only in like grade nine or something when that came out, but House of Castle, I saw like more than once in a theater. I remember I was in grade, I was in grade, it would have to be three or four. And I was in the library at school and they had uh, Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind on. Mm -hmm. I just remember that so clearly. I was like, what the heck am I watching? Like, Oh yeah, and that's like a weird one too. And I, I loved it, but it was, it was like, I think at that time I felt uh, a little above, above anime, <laughs> ironically. Um, oh no, I know, I know exactly what you mean. It's like, yeah, I was like, oh, that's I remember you're, you're not like a kid anymore. There's, yeah. it's like a time period where you're like a tween that yeah. you're like, no, this sucks. I like, I like real adult things. Real, I like real movies. <laughs> yeah, but then and I it's like it. you stop watching Disney movies, and and now it's oh yeah, and it's then very, uh, it's all and, come back. And then I saw that, and I was like, this this is an anime, but this is no kids filming. Like this is this is a crazy legit too legit. Too legit to quit. Have you seen Hot Rod? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Cool beans. Cool beans. I was, I was in a household of guys, and, and you could not escape Hot Rod no matter what you did. Why would you want to? It's one of the greatest films ever made. Basically. Let's see, Ibis says, will this live be archived? Yeah, you'll be able to come back to it. You got it. I feel like you're, oh, I think my YouTube's frozen. I was like, I can't see what you're doing. Oh. Do you usually uh, listen to music when you're painting? Uh, it depends. It depends on my mood. Sometimes I have like mental space for that. Sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm listening to an audiobook. And it's sometimes like... I go without. I, you... I need it. I need right. it. Right. What, what do you? Music. What do you listen to? Uh, I used to listen to scores a lot and classical Ooh, music. Yeah. Now I need I need like pop music. Nice. I need like the I need the equivalent of a like wedding playlist. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. To get my energy up and right. Get me like 
happy and moving around. Man, energy management is the worst. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the perfect response to that. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm, I suppose so. My dog's making noises somewhere. I'm not sure from where. <laughs> He's grumbling though. A couple of questions. Danae says, are you thinking about getting into TikTok again, Justin? Uh, actually, yeah, I have been for a while, but um, <laughs> I can't find my account. That sounds ridiculous, but like I put my main emails in and they're not the account that I made a while ago. And yeah, so I don't really know what to do. I guess sit down on my computer and try. Otherwise, just start from, otherwise just start from scratch, which would be fine. You should go into your email and oh. uh, search for emails from TikTok. Oh, but I did, and I didn't find any. Interesting. But, but I can I can Google my name and TikTok, and my my things come up. That the things that I did before come up. So my soon there's going to be an upload of like someone pretending to be you <laughs> with a really bad Australian accent. Danae says I f I'm following three Justin Donaldson counts on TikTok. Yeah, they're probably all, <laughs> they're probably all me, and I'm so ashamed to like start again because <laughs> that'd make four of them, and people would look for me and just like find these old me's. Someone's it's just like, <laughs> crikey, it's me, Justin. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's all me. I, can, I can't do uh, an Australian accent. That's all right. Apparently, you know, can, I, can, can I. I can only do like a Reese Darby Kiwi accent. Oh, yeah? Go for it. I'm all in. I'm listening. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, We've got a team meeting to oh, see the present. Well, you're really good at this. <laughs> you're, really, you're really good. Got some oh, there's one bit. There's one bit where he's talking about how um, he had a mohawk when he was young. Uh -huh. He's like, they, they thought I was a punk rocker, but <laughs> I'm just like a stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I love it. Um. Nienke says, uh, Justin, would you like would you like to create backgrounds for anime movies as a background artist? Uh, yes and no. Uh, yeah, because I think that'd be like really cool. Um, but I don't want to live that life. That's my problem. I don't want that studio life. Yeah, you want to be your own boss. Yeah. Would you go for the studio life? Me? Oh, yeah. I don't think I could. I don't think I like, could either. I'm too like- and not just mental. like, not like as a matter of principle at all, but I'm just like, I don't think I'm well enough to actually like commit <laughs> to that. That's exactly what I think. I'm like, I, I don't think I could mentally go in for that. I think it would destroy me. No. Like I used to work in uh, the film industry. Um, and it was like first as like an extra and stuff, and then after as a like a production assistant or like assistant as an international director. as an international star, an international superstar. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and it's like those days are so incredibly long. Like a for an assistant director, a day on set is like standard 14 hours before you start getting overtime. Gosh, that is a long day. And I just like, I got so depressed and yeah. just like, and sick. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how any of you are doing this. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose not everyone is sick. <laughs> that might no, be- Yeah, people's, reserved, people's just brains reserved, work. Just reserved for us. Yay. 
Oh, and like speaking of that, like my uh, <laughs> the medication I'm on gives me like really shaky hands. Oh yeah. So I like have to like bump up this moving on Photoshop to really help me draw lines. No shame in that. You were sharing on Twitter that you were just like changing your medication, right? Yeah, I uh, I haven't even had my appointment yet. Like doctor's appointments are so like effed right now. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's so I have to do it like, like a Zoom doctor call pretty much. How's that work? Like, is it actually helpful? It's all right. You know, it's funny because I actually find her a lot easier to talk to um, this way. Oh, yeah. That's something good. something about being in a doctor's office, like, you know, you're not the one in charge and they make you feel bad for not doing the right things. But if I'm in my own house, like, <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Yeah, just quit the, uh, just quit the, the browser. Mm -hmm. oh, someone says, Justin, how long do you paint? And did you uh, did you studied it? Um, you mean that at any given point in time? I'm lucky if I get like three and a half hours of painting in a day. Oh, same. Some a, a good yeah good day is three like a really good day is three and a half hours. Somewhere between like two and three hours is uh, that's still good. That's still good. Not my best, but that's still good. And then. Um, and then depending on the day, like I might not paint or it's, it's, it's less optimal than I would like. Uh, but did I study it? Yes, but I studied independently. So, um, I didn't go to school for anything. How long do you paint for? Uh, I, I pretty much the same as you, I guess. Like it's, yeah. I'm, it's a good day if I can get over like two and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, and like I was, I did some like live streams last week on like one of my big paintings. Uh huh. And I like ended them being like, oh man, I got so much work done. This is great. And they were like an hour and five minutes long each. <laughs> yeah. But there's, there's something about just like, I, I still haven't figured it out. There's something like, I, I almost don't know how to have a good day. Like I don't know how to really make it through a day and feel super productive. And there's these, there, there's these days that turn out really good. And you're like, I didn't really even do that much work, but it like, it was good. And I'm constantly trying to figure out like what actually made that happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm but it's definitely not about the amount of time I put in. Oh, it's like, do I have a headache today? Do I, like, did it cloud over right before I was about to start painting and I just, like, didn't have it in me anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Um... How much time it. do we have left? Oh, I think probably about 10 minutes, maybe. Oh, golly. Oh, maybe. I, I don't know, actually. It's something like, I should have set a timer. <laughs> so, but the, the sun have... is positioned about here in the sky. So. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and Until the, those clouds come over, just before you start painting. Oh, they're here. Oh, they're there. But is it's that... kind of snowing, and snow is is happy. So, well, that's nice. We haven't had a snow here yet. You're a pretty south. I'm very south. You're in one of the south named places. <laughs> I'm like south of south. It's Carolina is south, but uh, I'm in South Carolina. Here, there's some chat I'm trying to catch up with. Astro Robinson. Yeah. 
studios being forced into bad working standards and taught they're not valuable enough to the industry to be cared for. Very true. And Denise says, yeah, my particular brand of sickness likes likes long hours and being undervalued. It's comfortable. <laughs> Oh, oh, so Kara was, instead of asking how long do I paint, she was actually asking um, since when? Since when? I mean, I've always done little bits of painting, uh, but I started taking it seriously like nine years ago now. That's when I was, that's when I tried to really actually learn how to paint. I what like used to paint in, in like art class in school. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, Digital being what it is, it wasn't a thing uh, right. when I was in school. Yeah. Um, so all so of my all old my work, oh, I'm hearing an echo of myself. All of my old work from back then is traditional. That meme was going around like uh, your art at 16 versus your art now. Oh yeah. And I was like, well, I mean, I can't really have any comparisons because I, did not paint digitally then. But it's fun. Like it, it and I got back into painting with acrylics like pretty easy. Like painting, I did like one really crappy portrait study, like a in just like a monochrome. Uh-huh. Last year at some point, and then I painted a, a painting for like a charity auction on a whim in like four days nice in november and it looked good and i was like still got it <laughs> <laughs> i mean i think there's i think there's like there's something about painting where you're like tricked into thinking it's all about the medium but i feel like the medium is such a small part of it uh, about i mean it's 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 big but it's in terms of what does it take to paint well it's like all in your head. It's it's I think it's all the same. Like yeah. It's do you like cleaning your brushes and mixing paint? Then you should paint traditionally. Do you hate that? Oh, maybe you <laughs> paint digitally. Well, do you hate that? That's what that's what holds me back. I right. hate mixing colors. Damn. I don't hate it, but it's just I like to like do like feverish brush strokes uh -huh. and just like hitting the eyedropper tool like everywhere like every 10 seconds yeah and i and i get into like a a flow right 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 but it's a lot more uh, i guess like just methodical doing it traditionally can't manipulate it or erase it as much yeah, it's 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 tough. I remember there was a All time patience. I would go back and forth between traditional and and uh, digital constantly, just because like I could answer all my questions digitally. Like, well, what would this look like if the sky was like a little bit lighter? You know, yeah, if I'm doing, yeah, if yeah. I'm doing if I'm doing oils, answering that question takes like a day and a half. Oh God, oils, they take very long to dry. Yeah. Do not want. Let's see, are there any particular traditional brushes you two would recommend? I'm considering some Winsor Newton Sable brushes on something with uh, good tips that handle water and ink nicely. Um, do you have any favorite brushes? Um. What do I use most? I think they're all in the sink, but like, I like a big fat brush. Nice. Like life size. Right. Um, and uh, maybe like this size of an angled brush. Uh huh. And then like a a rounded. Like that. I remember I got told off for using an angle brush once. Oh, who gives a shit? 
<laughs> well, it, 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 it was it was like oh you can't use that because it's like it's just like a flat brush but the the pressure is unevenly distributed like, your pressure is unevenly distributed <laughs> like you, i suppose you do have a point but uh i want to use it so i'm here i'm gonna use it Let's and can't is such a funny word because it's like you can't use that can't i <laughs> Watch me, I will show you how wrong you are. <laughs> um yeah, my favorite brush. I'm so terrible. I like don't care. I feel like I feel like I really should care because it's it's not helpful to not care. <laughs> but I'm just like, oh, I'll use whatever. But occasionally, occasionally I find a really good like calligraphy brush that holds its position enough that it's like, because what I really like is when when a brush is kind of like bounces back to where it was, then you can then you know where it's gonna land when you put it down. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and like how you can press it around to get like a full stroke. Yeah, and then occasionally I I like but but a lot of rounds you can't really get a good texture to it because actually because of that they like go back to position but there's somewhere like right in the middle that i find with the occasional calligraphy brush where you can get it to be where you want it to be and at the same time you can get the texture and it's just a really hard call to try and find them Let's see. I'm gonna have to head out here in a minute, so I'm gonna start untaping. But we have a couple of questions. Um, do you ever go a few days without painting, then feel like you forgot how to start again? Um, I don't think a few days will do that, but a few weeks might. For me, I'm totally ripping my paper. That's all right. Yeah, I, I like. Uh crunched into a pretty good burnout before Christmas. Uh huh. And like was just, I mean, like the month of December was just like rough. Yeah. Cause there's like so many obligations and I was like, can I just, can Christmas just like not happen please? Um, <laughs> so I didn't really do a lot of, I didn't do any pretty much digital painting. I like, I doodled on my iPad and that's pretty much it. But I was doing yeah. like, uh, carpentry work like doing that kind of nice. stuff and then i did a little bit of like traditional goofing around yeah and until i was like ready to come back and then i did my two most recent paintings so like the woman with the shroud and the galaxy and the uh that's so good the heron and they just like rolled out of me i love it, that like i had i had to stop for like over a month you know what? I find that a lot. I mean, I, I don't put myself in that situation these days much anymore, but I remember when I was like really going for it and then I, you know, had to work a lot and whatever and have those significant time periods up. Every time I came back, it was like the things I had learned before had finally soaked in and I like given them enough time for it all to actually make sense instead of pushing yeah. so hard. I yeah. Yeah. I think it's a, a little bit of time for like muscle memory to actually start working. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a little easier on myself now, uh, like with creating something that's like totally doesn't work because like I had to make that mistake at some point. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to head out here in a minute. Um, okay. But, oh, Atra Robin says, any specific brands, though? Um, you can't just walk into Jerry's and say, give me the big fat one. <laughs> um, I was gifted these Etcher ones, and they're really nice. I'm not just telling you that because I was gifted them. Um, I have... This gray mat is it's by Richardson, um, and that one actually I've I've enjoyed that one a lot. And then my wife just got me a big set of um, 
Where are they? A big set of calligraphy brushes. I don't actually know what the brand is because I don't read Chinese. But um, some of them are nice and some of them are not useful at all, <laughs> at least as far as I'm concerned. But yes, um, Ibis says you can go to Jet Pens and find some for cheaper, which is nice. That sounds nice. Like a lot of our stores will have like level one, level two. Uh, right, and, yeah. And brushes and stuff. And I just buy the size I want that's in stock, whether it's level one or level two. Like house brand from DeSera's art store. <laughs> Yeah, I I, I have a, a fair bit of Master's Touch, which I think is like Michael's or Hobby Lobby mm. cheap brand. And they're not bad. They're not terrible. I'm happy to use them. Okay, one last question. Carrie says, are you painting with poster paints or mixing with gouache? And uh, which you like more, gouache or poster, or is there much difference? Um, at the moment, I'm just, these, these ones are just pure poster color. Honestly, if I had gouache that came in a tub, I would uh, just be just as happy to use it. Um, it's just about the same thing as far as I'm concerned. Though, um, though this poster color is definitely better than a bad gouache. Um, I know a lot of my students have, have been turned off by bad gouaches and really feel like a good gouache makes a difference. I, I'm a bit blind to it, though. Well, yeah, I think that's it. Let's I'm gonna get yours nice and large and see where you're at. Sweet. What were you going to say? I have, uh, I have like, 10-year-old gouache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's And then, like, I have some really old ac acrylic as well, and, like, it's all, like, separated and, like, you know, like, milk curdles? It looks like curdled milk. Oh yeah, yeah. I had I put some um, some honey in my gouache, uh, and I, I'd heard that that like kind of helps it to stay wet for a bit longer. And I think that's true. You could have a significant amount, but at the end of the day, um, it kind of crystallized. <laughs> the honey crystallized, and so it wasn't really good for like redoing. But oh well. Well, it's kind of like a like a pumice medium <laughs> you could add in yeah. things. <laughs> yeah, but I have to head out now. Okay. So, it was a uh, great hanging out with you. Yeah, you too. Although I feel like I like didn't see your face the whole time. I know. I'm sorry. You're just you're in this little car. That's you. I'm there. there I am. Yep. Next time I'll have to figure out how to get the uh, the other camera going as well. Yes. I can yeah, use, we'll my, figure it out. use my hands though. But uh, yeah, cool. Thank you guys for, for hanging out and watching. And we will see you guys later. Bye.